Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and today I shall be reviewing Max Cube by Max Maggi. Before we do the review, can you please check out cardmagiccourse.com or it may be a different name by the time you watch this, so do click the link below in the information bit and that's my online magic course where you can learn hundreds of moves, loads of concepts, loads of practice approaches and loads of theory on becoming the best magician you can be for all levels. So at the moment, cardmagiccourse.com, but the link below will get you through to it. And like and subscribe and all that. Right, I've had this for a while now. Um, I got sent this by Max Maggi, Maxim, uh, a while ago, and he's, he's been in contact, he's given me loads of help, and he's talked me through it, uh, and there's, I'm a bit late to the party, this has been out for a while now, but because of my interest in cube magic, uh, I thought, I, you know, I was really interested in it when I saw it. In the, in the trailer, you'll see he's solving the cube using a tennis racket, which I thought was quite cool, using a kind of pitcher, like a water pitcher, he's kind of, or a jug, for those of you in the UK. <laughs> Uh, where he shakes it in the cube. So, so I thought it was really interesting. And this idea, I saw, um, I sort of broke my rule. I did watch some other reviews of this uh, for reasons I'll talk about in a minute, or I might forget. I, I often do that. I often say for reasons I'll talk about in a minute or something like that, and then can forget to talk about it. But ask me in the comments, and I'll, I'll talk about it on the Thursday uh, live sessions at five o'clock, where I answer any questions in the comments. So uh, I saw this on e Katarina's. Uh, great review channel. I saw the she had her her child, a four year old, I think. If, if um, could be wrong in that, but solving the cube, which I thought great, give this to every, anybody and they can solve it. And that's the big selling point. You can give this to anybody, mix it up, and they can put it behind their back and solve it. Uh, and of course, the other things I've been talking about, or you can solve it, even if you can't solve the cube. So you, there's a blindfold solve on this, so you have to know a bit about blindfold work. And Max talks, Maxim talks you through this in the download or you can do it behind your back uh, from a mixed state and, and solve it. So all interesting stuff. What this really is, and I think I'm okay to say this, is it's a cube that, even if you don't know what you're doing, when you turn it, keep turning it and keep turning it, at some point it will solve itself. It kind of gets back to a solve state because it limits what can be done with a cube, the gimmick. It's a gimmick cube, all right? So it can't, well, can it or can it not be um, looked at and inspected? So you take this, whatever you do, you mix it up and, you know, I can give it to a spectator in a mixed state. Actually, I tried to mix it up then and just solved it. <laughs> so that's kind of what we're talking about here. And they will be able to mix it. I'm just, I'm doing it now. It's just, it, it's the weirdest thing to handle this thing, which I'll, I'll talk about in a minute. Um, it fit, I still can't quite work out how it all works. I've been, I've really struggled with it. Anyway, I can't, I can't, I'm, can't, I'm trying to mix it up and I can't mix it up, which is really uh, funny because I've played with this quite a lot. But anyway, that's what it looks like. It looks like a normal cube. It's gimmick, but it looks like a normal one. So I have a complete waste of time. I was trying to do something with it and failed, but it doesn't matter anyway. So, I, I'm going to start with, is this, what, who it's for? This is, I think, for people who don't, who don't see themselves as cube magicians, you know, people that are going to learn the cube, um, you know, study it, get into it, get into all different types of magic, like I have, and I really, really love. I, I love the challenge of it, and I, I, I think cube magic is great. And I do a big chunk of it in my show, and it always goes down well. People talk about it at the end. So those people that say cube magic isn't magical, it really, really is. Uh, I have the proof. If performed right, of course. I think this is for people who want to do something with a cube, who like the idea of looking like they can solve the cube, behind their back or after looking at it or blindfolded or whatever and can't actually do it they don't want to go through that work and i don't I, i'm not going to judge that I'm, I'm you know i completely understand that people who don't really see themselves as card magicians but want to do some magic with cards so they want something that's self-working or gimmicks no, no judgment on that at all it's really i don't think there's anything wrong with that that's who this is for because it doesn't require you to to learn the cube what it the thing that i learned with it is to get it into a certain state from solved uh, and it looks mixed, pick it up, not look at it, whether it's behind your back or you're looking up here or with blindfold, and solve it. That's what I learned. And that takes a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit of understanding of what you're doing. And I did get in touch with Maxim about this. I don't quite get this. And he kind of taught me through it. And then I did get it. So the trick there is you solving the cube or you solving the cube without looking. For me, because I am someone that likes to solve a Rubik's Cube, that's not really useful to me because... 
I can do it, and I'd rather do it the way I do it. I feel like there's more control. It's why I like sleight of hand. I feel like I'm in control of it. I'm not, I'm not giving it all to a gimmick. So then I thought, well, what, what other things are there? There's the tennis racket itself. I think that's quite cool, but it requires you to doctor the cube in a way that isn't going to allow you to use it for anything else after that. You're buying this, and you're going to have to do something to it and make it up with the tennis racket, and that's done. Then that's pretty much all you're going to be able to do with it. When I saw that, I kind of thought, well, I'm not, probably not going to do that. That's, I'm not going to ruin this cube just for that. And then the jug solve, I played with that. I kind of thought, I can't really get that working. So that really didn't work for me. So the last thing is this idea of giving it to a spectator to solve behind the back or giving it to them and saying, turn it, turn it, turn it, taking it away from them, maybe giving it one more turn like that, and it solves. That's really cool. And that is what you can do. And that's, that is what Maxim says he does with it all the time. He gives it to a spectator, says, put it behind your back. He watches them, takes it off from at a certain point, goes, and it's done. So they've solved it. That's really cool. He, that's what he uses this for mostly, I think, and good on him, because I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it. To me, there are limitations with this cube. I have given it to my son and given it to people to play with, and they've kind of done it and then gone, oh, something's, I can't, you know, and, and you have to say, well, it's just a little bit stiff, and, and they can carry on doing it, but I wouldn't be comfortable doing it on stage or in a show because of the time it may take to do, and that's the thing with this. This is, for me, something... And I could be wrong, because Maxim, I know, does this. He, he takes it out all the time and he does it. It's his thing. And maybe it's because I haven't spent enough time with it. But I don't feel that comfortable giving this to someone to solve when time is of the essence. It, it can just take too long. There's, there's a rhythm to it. So it's something to do, I think, with friends or family or, in, for me, in a kind of more uh, casual situation. And there's this whole thing about whether it's examinable or not. It's not examinable but can you hand it to someone to solve and then not be suspicious again Maxim says he does this all the time and they're just so in the moment that they don't know I would feel iffy about it I think depending on how relaxed they are and again if you're performing this in a more laid back setting they are going to be more relaxed than if they're on stage if they're on stage I can imagine you just talking them through it and then being able to do it again like I said the time is the issue for me there how long it's going to take but in a relaxed setting when people aren't nervous, they might think this something's not quite right here. Oh, that's my feeling. I, and, and again, family members that have done this have kind of gone, yeah, but I can't, you know, they, they, they can just feel something, but they know what, I've got Rubik's Cubes all over the place, so it might be that, but um, I just, for me, it, again, it's just not a comfortable thing to, for someone to handle this, unless they're super nervous, they're on stage and there's, you, you, there's a dual reality thing going on there. And that's what he says he does, by the way. There's dual reality, they might think something, but you're, using language that, that kind of tells them that the cube's very sticky, it doesn't, you know, you're going to have to work and all that kind of stuff. I think this is a really cool idea. There's, a, there's an issue with the download where, where he, I couldn't get my head around this and I kept having to ask him, well, I don't get it. And, and it, part of it, it is quite simple, but there's something about the download that kind of goes through really quickly, uh, some stuff. And I know I'm not the first person to say this, but I couldn't really grasp... I wanted to know the foundational concepts of what was going on here before, and then I could sort of start thinking about my own ways of doing it. And I think that's the issue. It feels like this is a great idea that if you want to take it and run with it and really play with it a lot, you'll get a lot out of it. But I wanted some more, some almost someone to talk me through why this works, the what, the how, the, the so what, all that kind of stuff, the different things I could do with it to then allow me to take it and start thinking. And at the moment with this, I have played with it an awful lot and enjoyed learning it, but I don't really know where it's going to go. I still really don't know what I'm going to do with it, and that, and that is the problem with me. I'd love to hear other people's thoughts, because I think people have taken this and really enjoy it and work with it, but I still am not at a place where I'm comfortable kind of incorporating it anywhere. So I think it's interesting, I think it's great, I think that Maxim at his age, and I'm not being patronising, to think along these lines and put the effort he has into to releasing it is brilliant. I think that there is, it feels like it needs to be taken, repackaged and given a really long download into, we've got this idea, we've got this utility thing here, or not the right word really, but you know, this thing that can do all these different things, but let's explore it now. But to me, there hasn't been enough exploration of this concept and it feels like this is maybe the first level of something that could be bigger. So I think it's really interesting. I don't know where I'm going to put it, um, but it's an interesting release and I'd like to, to know your thoughts on it so that's um max cube by uh maxim um uh, Ma sorry magic cube by 
Max Huber by Maxi Max. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm all over the place. I've just come out of a like, non-COVID virus that was hideous, by the way. So you'll notice my voice is just all that. So my head's a bit all over the place. Um, well, there you go. It's all the details will be below. And uh, any questions, do let me know, and I'd love to answer them because this review's probably been all over the place because I'm I'm not feeling that great at the moment, to be honest. But uh, thanks, uh, Maxim, for sending it to me, and uh, take care. Check out carbmagiccourse.com or whatever it's called by now. Click the link below and like and subscribe. Thank you very, very much.